Ladies and gentlemen, it is a pleasure for me to join you today in Paris, although remotely. Thank you for the invitation to the Transeo Summit, which is the key event dedicated to business transfers in Europe. Since its creation, Transeo has been one of the key interlocutors for the European Commission in this area, and we will continue working hand in hand. At EU level, we have worked on improving framework conditions for business transfers for almost three decades. Throughout these years, member states have made significant progress in implementing regulatory, administrative and fiscal measures, but also those related to awareness raising, timely preparation of a transfer and online marketplaces for buyers and sellers. We have launched many initiatives in this field and many good practices, guidelines, handbooks, training programs were developed by EU-funded projects and by regional and national actors in the Member States. They are all easily adaptable to different contexts and can be put in place with help from the EU regional funds. In 2020, we have completed a study on data for business transfers and we proposed the common methodological approach to data collection. Now, our focus is on improving access to mentoring services for business transfers. Last November, we launched a new three-year action that is part of a broader project on mentoring for companies in distress. Today at the summit, you have chosen to debate about international acquisitions, so-called build-ups, and their potential to generate growth in Europe. Acquisitions can be indeed a fast track to business growth. They can facilitate access to new markets, customers, distribution channels, skills, technology or innovative processes. There are many good reasons for an acquisition to be a success, but first and foremost, it has to be a good business case. The buyer needs to have a strategic reason for acquiring that particular company at that particular time. The simple intention to just grow the business might not be sufficient, as such a decision will have to be the driving force for all future business choices. The EU portal Your Europe Business provides the information on mergers and acquisitions of limited liability companies and the Enterprise Europe network can also assist all those looking for international acquisitions. But this is only the flavor of what is needed to finalize the international deal. Each acquisition has to be thoroughly planned, prepared and implemented. This is where access to the right advice and support of practitioners will always be crucial. Despite some challenges, the number of cross-border acquisitions is growing steadily. Our case study on cross-border transfers revealed that Germany is one of the most active countries in the EU in that respect. Between 2008 and 2018, almost 142,000 cross-border transfers took place, corresponding to an annual average of 0.6% of all enterprises in Germany. Around 138,000 of these transfers were transactions concerning SMEs. So this is indeed an important path to growth that is worth exploring. Now I'm convinced that during this summit you will be able to come up with a number of practical solutions. And therefore I wish you very fruitful discussions.